<laughs> well, the recording is happening, so I'm not mad at it. All right, here we go. Where are we on? Episode four? Yeah. <laughs> I believe we are at our quarterfinal game number four. I am Dave Rapp. This is... I, I am TJ Talley. Huzzah. Yes, and we are... The, the Brohawks. Uh, we... If if you're coming to this now, I don't know how you found this, but I'm happy you found this. <laughs> uh, if, you know, I mean, people who have already been here know that we are former Jeopardy champions and, and currently in the Diamond Bracket contestants. Our games have not come up yet, but we decided to talk about the rest of the bracket uh, because we love them and because we had so much fun. And it did occur to me last night, um, if anybody watching, if you have questions about what it's like behind the scenes, if there are things that you want to know, mysteries that we can uncover for you, uh, please let us know in the comments. We will not tell you who wins. This no, is that is right now. Yes, but we're not get, we're not giving that away. We've all signed things. We will not get paid. Right. <laughs> and we, we like we money. Tell you things. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, but if there's a, like you know, it's interesting. It's fun back there. Yeah. Uh, and this time was even more fun because we got to hang out with other people. The first time we were both on, uh, there was no green room because mm -hmm. we had to sit. We sat in the Wheel of Fortune stage uh, at least six feet away from each other. They had seats marked in the audience at Wheel of Fortune for everybody to be spaced out. Mm -hmm. And we just stared at the wheel that was covered with a huge sign saying, do not touch the wheel. And the wheel is deeply depressing in that it is really <laughs> smaller than you imagine. So the camera makes it look much bigger, but it's like barely six feet in diameter. So I was, I was disillusioned on like eight level. Right. Ooh, glass I, I just was like, you put up a sign saying do not touch. And I'm literally like, did you touch? Did you touch it? I didn't. I didn't. I, the only time I was on this on the stage was to get makeup, hair and makeup done. So you I, were too I, busy winning. A lot of people. It's fair. There were a lot of people. I was very busy winning. So busy winning. <laughs> did you touch? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I like, well, I was alone, right? So, you know, the moment, like, as you know, when you win, you get sent back to the, to the, to the Wheel of Fortune set. That was where we, we changed, right? Because you have five seconds to basically change clothes. And there's nobody there, right? Because everybody else was still in the studio. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, forgive me, Vanna, for I have sinned. And ah, there you go. There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I am very excited for today's episode because I was the only one in the audience watching. <laughs> it. As it turns out, we had a lunch break after episode three, and Mr. Tally, I'm sorry, Professor Tally, and it. our good friend Sarah Reza uh, decided to go back to the hotel and sit by the pool and drink martinis. Which I maintain I is a strategy. Yes. <laughs> I decided to stay and keep my. Uh, keep my uh, anxiety level at a nice, nice high right under the gorge of the throat. <laughs> and we literally had this conversation where I turned to you and I was like, I can't watch more of this show right now. I'm going to lose my mind. I have to go yeah. sit by the pool in a swimsuit and drink a triangle of liquor. And you were like, <laughs> no, I'm just going to be more anxious. And I was like, I love this for you. But Sarah <laughs> and I decided to quiz each other from like an atlas the entire time so we're like ask each other about rivers and highest mountains in each of the continents while also lying out drinking triangles of booze which is a bummer because then i did not get to see this game so this is actually my first time watching this game with my all friend. right all right well let's do it then <laughs> you're right there i'm just you excited, excited. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go Slide us down. There we go. Today's past champions are a naval officer oh, from Santa Clarita, California, Philip Howard, a project manager from Chattanooga, Minnesota. So earlier I turned to someone, I was like, Emily just looks like that nice person in HR who will give you From Burbank, California, yes. Carlos Chides. 
or lives, lives right down the street from me. We're supposed to go do trivia sometime. We have not he's, done it yet. But he's a great Carlos team. Awesome. We, were, we were both briefly on Masterminds together. Oh, right. Today, once again, we have one semifinal spot up for grabs between our season like 37 champs, Carlos. Everybody knows I like purple. Good luck to all three yeah, of you. I'm going to hold good. myself while you tell them that. Shall we? What about the Jeopardy <laughs> round? Should we do that? Here are your categories. We begin with produce. Then we have Disney Park songs. No. You'll need to tell me the I don't like it. where you might hear these lyrics. Followed no. by water under the bridge. We want the body of water the bridge spans. Then no. book them, Dano. Okay. On the road, again, note those quotation marks. I always, finally, when there's quotations, I always ask productions. where I want to start. Because you know you with at least what part of Let's your answer is going to be. Bridge for 200. And but also, we don't read categories. You know this. Emily. What is the East River? Right. Yeah. Water under the Why bridge. Why is she so adorable? Oh, no. The East <laughs> Bay Bridge in Maryland. This bay. It's got to yeah. be Chesapeake. What is the Potomac? No. Emily. What is the Chesapeake? That's the bay. Book them, Dano, for 400. Again, she's giving cool HR manager vibes right now. He produced his own periodical. That's like her voice. I mean, that's right? like, just like anybody else's voice. She has a wonderful lilt to her Carlos, responses. Who's the foe? You got it. Uh, water under the bridge for 600. Under the Petafi Bridge in Budapest, this river. Oh, there you go. Emily? What is the Buddha? No. Carlos? What is the Danube? That's the river. Water under the yeah. bridge for 800. That's a hard one because my, my brain was like, it's Danube. Or is it Buddha? In Venice, this busy waterway. Philip? What is the Grand Canal? Correct. Look at that. On the road again for two. In 1804, a steam carriage was first put onto one of these. It could haul 70 men and 10 tons of iron for 10 miles. Emily. What is a railroad track? Railroad, yeah. Okay. On the road go. again for 400. <laughs> Swift American seen here. <laughs> Who's the roadrunner? That is him. Again, adorable when I she says it. Everything is adorable when Emily says it. Title direction for <laughs> Arthur Sullivan's Christian Soldiers. Onward. Emily. What is onward? Good. Better ask yeah. directions, 800. She gives like a, a, just a very specific York, pronunciation of each of it. motto, Excelsior, means ever this direction. Mm -hmm. What is upward? Right. <laughs> on the road again for six. In this hit, Lil Nas X mentions his cowboy hat from Gucci. Oh, I mean, somebody <laughs> what does is Old it. Town Road? Correct. So good. Again for 800. She's like brothers Lee amused. and Kino just amused are by everything. Amused on this PBS program. Emily. What is Antiques Roadshow? That's the show. On the road again for a thousand. Also known as Mad Max Two. Philip. Oh, Fury Road. Come on, I feel you, bud. You got it uh, at the time, yes. Nice. Uh, book him, Dan, for 200, please. In 1977, he it. wrote The Camera Never Blinks, Adventures of a TV Journalist. Philip. Who is Dan Rather? Yes. It's so funny how young he looks, too. Emily's face was like, who is and that man? Firm and Worth Fighting For oh, are boy. two books by this ex-vice president. Oh, the quale. Well. Dan Quayle, yeah. <laughs> book him, Dan, for 800, please. Indiana turned out. When he made the 2005 one. Time 100 list, his book was described as the novel that ate the world. Oh, this has to be Dan, Dan Burr. Of Da Vinci yeah. Code fame is correct. You now have $4,200 in the lead. I also, I will never hesitate to spend time making fun of Indiana. I apologize for the four people that know Indiana. <laughs> but there's a reason why it's called the Crossroads of America. Everyone is leaving. Oh, stop. Philip Howard is back with us, a naval officer. <laughs> I went to school in Indiana. Florida. We have. Philip, how uh, have you been preparing for your return? We were, we were on the stage. Somebody else in the tournament. I've been watching with my kids. Katie Hargrove also went to the first Notre time Dame. I was here. So right. now that my son is. And when I was originally on the, nightly, the guy I met, I met, or a beat, sorry, had gone to Notre Dame. They are in Learned League, and we practice daily. Oh, Learned League. Are you in Learned League? I was. I took a break. I'm a huge nerd, so I learned League it up all the time. Emily Sands yeah. from Chanhassen, Minnesota, right. is a project manager and back on Jeopardy. What's it like to be uh, to get the second call to be on Jeopardy? It's it's a little crazy, right? You know, you thought yeah. my Correct. time yeah. is is over, and I get another chance. It's amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. And She's so way, sweet and, and yet also so hungry for yes. victory. Right, and I can <laughs> see people's faces. Um, <laughs> I brought yeah. my husband and my son. My son was two when I taped last. Oh, he was sitting right in front of us for the yeah. morning stuff. Yeah. The world's was... most well-behaved child. Oh, look at oh.
I want to see yes, a grudge match between you and your son well and Phillips behaved, kid. Considering uh, how quiet you have to be <laughs> and sitting Wildcard, there for the so next long. Generation. <laughs> yeah, Carlos and then of course she, she her husband, and her child uh, then came and frolicked uh, in the pool with us afterwards. To Jeopardy, but I want to hear what was your reaction to winning on the show the first time? That's got to be just a surreal experience. Yeah, if I remember right. The first time I remember leaving the studio and I just kept repeating this phrase in my head. I'm like. I'm a Jeopardy champion. I'm actually That's right. That's right, sexy Jeff Goldblum. Real moment. You can't believe it, right? Yeah, it's a great feeling. Do you still repeat it? Is it like a mantra? It, it died off after a few days. I think it's implied when you say Jeff Goldblum. No, right, you're right. <laughs> Extra sexy, like tall, taller. I don't know. Goldblum seems pretty tall as well. Correct response. He does. Fifteen he does. clues left in the round. Which one do you want? Carlos seems hard. very sort of buttoned up until you meet him, and then he is like the most casual yeah. human yeah. I've ever met. Yeah. Philip. What is Pirates By the way, who's taller, Correct. Carlos or Disney Steve? Parks for 400, please. Oh, I like, don't know. I want, it's like watching two giraffes fight. I'm here for it. <laughs> Carlos. What is, it's a small world. Yes, classic earworm. Water under the bridge for a thousand, please. The answer there. You just look so serious. <laughs> oh, come on. Daily Duble. Right. And a chance for- Emily just looks so approving. I'll make it a true Daily Double, please. All right. Well, it's a thousand. You got this, On the baby. line in Water Under the Bridge, beneath the Vasco da Gama Bridge in Lisbon, this river. Ooh. Ooh. What is the Tagus? It is the Tagus through Lisbon, yes. Nice. That is impressive. Nice. I did not know my Lisbon River. 600. Grim nope. grinning ghosts come out to socialize. No, I love it. What this is the haunted is mansion? Right. Disney Park. Every time she raises her eyebrows, she can drink. The Bear Band Bear is <laughs> play now in the good old key of G. Say it. Say what it. Is, what is the country bear jamboree? That's what it's called. Well done. Right. Delivery of a word. <laughs> a perusal is very confusal. Oh, I love Carlos. this ride. What is Winnie the Pooh? Yes, you got it. Yeah. Produce for 200. Big on vitamins A and C, this leafy vegetable also has a lot of fiber and acts as a mild laxative. Look out, That's Sailor. A lot Graham. of info about spinach. Emily. What is spinach? <laughs> Produce for 400. In 2008, a pair of Brits were out of their gourd, growing a 1,457 pound one of these. Smashing. Uh, Carlos. What is a pumpkin? Good. The last part, I was gonna like squash, and then I was like, ah. Oh, as Welch is credited with making the first unfermented juice from this fruit. Well, we know that one. What is a grape? Yeah, hence Welch's. Produce, produce for 800, please. One Life gives you the Meyer type of this tree. Expect mm. plenty of fruit here. Plenty of those here in Southern oh, California. That's literally all we have, well. yeah. Produce for 1,000. The name of this cylindrical vegetable means little squashes in Italian. Ah, zucchini. <laughs> what is zucchini? Correct for a thousand. Book em Dano for a thousand. Lemony Snicket should know this novelist penned adverbs and watch your mouth. I can never remember his real name. Uh, Lemony Snicket's alter ego, Daniel Handler. I would Emily never have known that. Better ask yeah. directions yeah. for a thousand. In the army, it's an order to move the troops forward or for a soldier to move up in rank. Emily. What is it promotion? No. Is it elevate? Is advance. That's correct. Oh, I see. Ask for directions for four, please. Direction that also means to swallow liquid hastily. Philip. What is it down? To down something, yeah. Emily. Emily's face was mine. I was like, Tropical I was literally like, oh. in the southern hemisphere <laughs> rotate in this timely direction. Emily. Clockwise. It's 50 50. Uh, what is counterclockwise? No. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what is clockwise? Got a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the banter we deserve. And I'm here. Going out with the last. Oh, look how close those everything is. We're tied. Jeopardy. Much more Champions Wild Card coming your way. There you go. And I want like a morning show where Carlos and Emily are the anchors, and I would 100% be here for that. <laughs> we just saw a squirrel in Central Park. Isn't that crazy? I would 100% watch it. Just the last correct response. You know, we had somebody in our chat last night Jeopardy. talking about, oh, I didn't know it when, First, I, was in, when I was watching it in the thing, and I. And now I still don't know it when I'm watching it on. Uh, it's the same with me. I keep missing. I miss all the same ones. <laughs> There's certain information that I, I'm never gonna know. Lemony Snicket's real name. No. I'm never gonna. Who is Daniel Hadler even? I don't know. For twelve hundred. Rosalind Franklin's X-ray photograph of this helped prove it to be a double helix polymer. Ah, uh, the DNA. Yet, what is DNA? Correct. And yet, you she never hear about her. For right, which is nice that they were like, let's talk about the lady. Right. Daily Double, make it a true Ooh, Daily right Double. Why does she always look so mischievous? I know, right? Five thousand. Whoa. Yeah, she's basically a Double. Just have fun. Here's your clue. Just like we're gonna have fun doing this. Nobel Prize in Chemistry was for her work on this vitamin whose deficiency causes pernicious anemia. 
What is B12? It is B12. Wow. <laughs> Wild. How does yeah. someone get both B12 and the Country Bear Jamboree is witchcraft? Uh, the first MD <laughs> in modern times, she helped found the London School of Medicine for Women in 18... Is that Blackwell? Is that Blackwell? Dorothea Blackwell? Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell. Oh, oh Elizabeth, Elizabeth Blackwell. You fill in the blank canvas well, for 16 if you said Blackwell, you would have got it. Yeah. Picasso <laughs> cued it. Les Demoiselles de blank. Okay. I mean, you know. What is Avignon? Right. We all were like, Avignon? For Avignon? <laughs> oh, yeah. The third of blank, 1808. That's the third of May. Okay, I'm glad it's not just Let's me. Let's do fill in the link canvas for 1200, please. Well, the answer there is... <laughs> oh, what? Like, I'm so naughty, oh. kicking your butt. <laughs> I'm not as confident on this one. Let's wager 4,000. All right, she prefers... Oh, That's 1,000 less, man. <laughs> That's the exactly what by I was Rembrandt, say. The blank blank. The company of Captain Franz Banning Corps. Oh. The night what watch. is the night watch? That is yeah. correct, yeah. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, I can't hear you over how grand I am. <laughs> Alliterative slang for crying. Again, see, I need to know the category. I wasn't paying attention. Me either. I'm afraid you're going to turn on the waterworks. Oh, sure. uh, oh, I was like, tear tossing? Monopoly board for 800. <laughs> tear tossing? Morgan Freeman's <laughs> first regular TV gig. Oh, electric company. He was an oh, easy man. reader. PBS kids remember the electric company. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say tear tossing like now when I cry, board. just so we know. It's a Jim, a Jimi Hendrix uh, take In off. baseball, this punitive measure began in 1997. And for the Yankees, it was over $4.4 million. Luxury Emily, tax? what is a luxury tax? Yes. Also on the oh. Monopoly board for 16. The president lives on it. Emily? Pennsylvania. What is Pennsylvania, yeah. Emily? Right. It was <laughs> great to watch her find it. Monopoly board uh? for 2000. A Latvian street? Carlos. Um, on, what is on, Baltic mm -hmm. Avenue? Yes, oh. you got there in time. I love when wow. the game one square left on the red. Not only did he produce Citizen Kane, he co wrote, starred in, and directed the film, too. Talk about a best boy, Carlos. Steve Wells, yes, but also uh, talk about that hair a little bit. I know, right? In addition to exec producing Michael Clayton, he got an Oscar nomination for best lead actor. Emily, it was George Clooney, right? Oh, the, the face, the George Clooney face. This producer and creator of Scandal declared, you can waste your lives drawing lines, or you can live your life crossing them. Oh, come on, Shonda. It was Rhymes. Shonda Rhymes, right. CNN for 400. We hope your dog doesn't suffer ennui when boarded in one of these establishments. Uh, the canal. Good. CNN for 800. Get thee to this synonym for a convent. Ah. Carlos? What is a nunnery? That's right. CNN for 2000. They're all catching up. Old or Ford. Emily. Who are Glens? They are Glens, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, I, I was 16. thinking Tennessee Williams. A chronological Idiot. record of the events of successive years. An, an all. An annal? Right. <laughs> CNN for 1200, please. Careful. There's no right way to say that. <laughs> Emily. What is panning? You got it. I was like, we're not going to say anal. You can't make me say it. Not on television. As a producer, he was smart enough to hire himself to direct A Beautiful Mind. Imagine that. Is that Russell Crowe? Emily. Who is Ron, Ron Howard? Howard? Of Imagination. Oh, of yeah. course. Pro produce for 2000. Top Gun and CSI. Are just I just got the produce joke Last this minute. <laughs> mega producers. Pro produce, produce. Who is Scott? Sorry, no. I have a whole PhD. Well, we were talking over uh, the, we, we always talk over the, the category. This guy, Jerry Bruckheimer. Back Jerry, to you, I have a good Jerry Let's Bruckheimer do, uh, story uh, that maybe will come up in the future. I hope there was an explosion. <laughs> a woman in distress, <laughs> ladder climbing, a giant ape. This video game that debuted in 1980 had it all. Carlos. What is Donkey Kong? Right. Uh, wasn't that an 80s thing for 1200? I'm an 80s thing. Say me nope. is on his album, Dancing on the Ceiling. Emily. Oh. Lionel Richie. Yes. I could just watch Emily just got, play games all the time. Governor of Massachusetts I got Lionel Richie a lot, by the way, in college. And then it was on people, to the people I look like. Mm, well, not quite. Carlos. Who's the cow? Wow. Correct. Was it Lionel Richie or Oates from Hall and Oates? I just I had the mustache. Car with gold I was like, you <laughs> put but big poofy hair. I was more worried about what. Tell me more about this Jerry Curl that you were sporting <laughs> in 1984. He was science for 800. It was natural. Thank you very much. Ellie I appreciate it. Develop drugs to treat herpes, gout, <laughs> and this cancer of the bone marrow. Leukemia. Emily, what is leukemia? That's right. 
fill in the blank canvas for each I'm other. I'm grateful as a gout sufferer. I'm not that, that, one, one of the three. More mechanical than nude. Nude descending a blank number two. Staircase. Fill what is the staircase? Yes. Uh, Don't push her down that staircase. 800, please. <laughs> the Wayfarer style of this brand of sunglasses was an 80s fave. Oh, please? Carlos. What are Ray-Bans? Ray -Bans. Right. Oh, of course. You buy me with science for 400. Alice Ball was 23 and a college instructor in Hawaii in 1915 when she developed the first successful treatment for this, also known as Hansen's disease. Oh, Emily. What is leprosy? That's right. And the Doesn't last one is on the blank canvas. An iconic 1930 image, blank Gothic. Philip. What is American Gothic? American Gothic. I like when you end on an easy one. What a shame Emily's on today, today, like, oh, oh, look how that great Emily's nice. Carlos did so well, and wow. she almost so shut him out. Property. First the yeah. category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Historic letters, as it turns out. And then the clue, which we will... I'm going to go with B. <laughs> By the way, actually, my mom and I always used to do that. We would watch, uh, growing up, we had an announce the final Jeopardy category, and while we were watching the commercials, we would just guess what we thought it was without a clue. Oh, yeah. What's it going to be? There's a whole Twitter account where they do that, where they just guess the what the answer is based on that. Oh, really? Yeah. Historic letters is the final Jeopardy. Not, not on the not on the Twitter. Past champs. The I mean, I think you mean X. I I refuse. A That's an historic letter. Begins <laughs> on the thirty third day after I had left Cadiz, I reached the Indian Ocean. Uh, I don't like this answer. <laughs> <laughs> this answer feels colonial. I'm going to take my tiny little glasses of judgment and shake them. Okay. I was like, sir, get an atlas. Also, stop colonizing. <laughs> Look at that smile. She's like, that's right. I run HR, and I make sure that there's a little candy in my desk in case you're having a bad day. <laughs> and I also know your kids' names at the company picnic, because I'm that cool. Who was that mystery <laughs> correspondent? Let's find out. We'll start with Philip Howard, who had $9,200. His response, who is Marco? Oh, baby. Not correct, I'm afraid. The wager was just 800, so that lands you at 8,400. Carlos Chaidez was in second place with 300. There was no water for Marco. His response? Cross babe, babe, babe. The for the gamma for Magellan, and Magellan is also not correct. I Carlos love that you haven't grade. seen that. Oh, you went big, wagering at all. You had to do it because Emily's oh. not quite oh. at 8, said, Cristoforo Colombo. She wrote down, who is Marco Polo? No, no, not correct. There's a twist here, which is that the explorer in question thought he was in the Indian Ocean, but was in fact in the Caribbean. It was Columbus's bad geography. That's the right face you make for yeah. any Columbus. You're going to lose the wager. Small 1601, knocking you down to 23,599. Well done, Emily. Finalist in our champion's wild card. Yes, I had not seen this one. Also, Emily says. Thank you for joining us on Jeopardy. We'll see you tomorrow. But now I'm going to tell you about this time that I was amazing. Right. So that was an age of exploration. Like, like, yeah. I was pretty, I was like, I was like, but that seems like a pretty clear Columbus one. But I, I, you know, when you're up there, you don't know. Like, uh, yeah. Look at Ken's smile. I mean, Columbus was the first thing that came into my mind, but also I was second guessing myself because he never got to the Indian Ocean so I was like how am I you know like you, you have to know that he was dumb <laughs> well it's interesting too that, that nobody else really sort of sight read Cadiz right which is in Spain right so you're like right, Spain right. and then Indian Ocean were like the two where I was like oh, yeah yeah but also watch like you know with my luck um future future viewers my category will be like famous opera baseball and I'll be like <laughs> This is a baseball that's also an opera and other things about changing a tire or things that men that are straight should know. I'm like, I don't know. I got <laughs> Famous opera baseball. There, there's a question somewhere. somewhere. Right? There's a card with that on it, just waiting. It's literally for, it's, for, it's, with Joe three, DiMaggio as Carmen. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't want to get it political here, but people have ideas about Columbus Day. I grew up in Columbus, Ohio, 
and we never got Columbus Day off school. So if that's the case, we don't we don't need to celebrate. Yeah, I know we don't need it if, if we get <laughs> Columbus plays. Can we just rename you, it Indigenous Ohio? If you don't get Columbus Day off in Columbus, then there's nothing for you. Like, the you only people that really there, get off, you know, is like, are you a bank? Are you a post office? <laughs> are you a Canadian? That's it. <laughs> I was waiting uh, for this Canadian Thanksgiving. I was like, "All right, guys, that's that's a lot going on." I, I always love to. I was. I love to wish my Canadian friends happy Thanksgiving on a um, Monday early. in October. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I'm almost like personally offended by someone else. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, but still. Uh, this so, was delightful, and I'm so glad I finally got to see it. Now, do I regret wearing my favorite swimsuit and drinking a triangle of booze by a pool? Most assuredly not. Most, <laughs> most assuredly. But one thing that we can say, so Sarah, Sarah and I were by the pool and then Emily comes back after after her game and she's in the pool with her super adorable son and her husband. And we're like, how did it go? And she just pauses and she just looks and she says, I won. And we were like, what? And it was just so ice cold. She's like, I won. It was like, there was like no brooking. It wasn't like, and she's like, no, no. And we were like, oh, oh, we got to watch out. And that's when we suddenly were afraid. Of <laughs> yeah i mean great game all around though carlos right? had to go all in he was so close like thank god he got that last thing or else he would have been it would have been a runaway right but he was he had it he had a toehold and he went for it gotta love him philip i wish philip was in our chat philip left right. early and we don't we didn't get to hang out with Philip. So. Right, because Philip was like, Philip and John from, from the last game both left after their games, right? So we have the they're local. Ones. Yeah, they're local California people. So they just like, I'm going like, home. Bye. I got life now, right? Like, but it's, <laughs> so, but yeah, you are welcome to stay, right? Like, Jeopardy has, has paid for your hotel this whole time and you can do these things. So, like, um, but yeah, so some people chose to stay and other people were like, I'm out. I don't, I'm not competing for monies anymore. And so there's a few people we didn't actually get to know that well. And then, yeah. Dave and I were both in the in the second day of taping, right? So the interesting thing for us, right, is that we're still in the first day of taping, right? The, the taping is um, five five episodes the first day and four episodes the second day, right? So um, uh, the next show, the one that airs on um, the twenty sixth on on Thursday, um, which is today, um, uh, but the one that airs today <laughs> is. Um, is the final one from that first day and then starting yes. on friday are are the four games of us day tours so yes yeah. so those games we were not sitting in the audience we were sitting in the green room right sitting on the monitor sweating we could yell we could yell and talk as almost as much as we wanted to although right. there was one time we yelled where they're like i think they heard you out on stage they definitely <laughs> did and they definitely were like hey chatty kathy's if you could dial yeah. that yeah. Also, at that point, we were made up. We had outfits. We felt very cute. It was good. Yeah. In a in a, a best in a business casual way. <laughs> well, right. Also, again, it's it's very clear that Dave and I in Jeopardy drag is literally Jeopardy drag. We do not look like this in our regular regular lives. So yes, all of us are not a thing I encounter very often. No. All right. Well, we did it. We did another we did. one. And it was, a, it was a, a, it was exciting. Yeah. I, I like that one a lot. Well, I'm pretty um, excited to see how the next one goes too. This should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but I think we're supposed to ask if you like it, like subscribe to us. <laughs> oh, yes, right. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, um, my name is Dave Rapp. Uh, all right. Yeah. And uh, we will see you tomorrow for the uh, next episode, quarterfinal number five. Sounds good. Thanks, guys.